Hi, this is Terry with Palomar College Academic Technology and let's talk about editing video with Windows Live Movie Maker. We're going to edit a couple of video clips here. Let's go ahead and load a clip, dome.mov. And there's our clip. And um, typically what you'll do, especially in an academic setting, is take a, take a video of perhaps a student speaking in class um, or reciting a poem or something like that, doing an analysis or a little skit perhaps that a group of students are performing. And always you have uh, some, uh, some material at the beginning of a clip and at the end of a clip you don't need. In fact, you should deliberately record something at the beginning and something at the end and just leave your camera rolling and then trim it off later. Trim the parts you don't need later. Now if you simply uh, load your clip and click the play button here, we can play to the point that we want to trim it at. And let's say we want to start right about there. And one of the downsides of the program is you can't uh, observe the audio track with the video track. Uh, there's no timeline. It's, it's not made to be a really precise editor. But you can pretty much play this until you hear the audio start. Back it up a little by dragging back perhaps. And then uh, on the Video Tools tab, click Set Start Point to trim off the start point. Okay, and that's our, uh, that's our trim. Now, let's move our playhead down to the end of the video, and let's say we want to end it right about there. And you can see this uh, vertical black line corresponding to the playhead or the scrub head in the preview uh, pane um, is the point where we want to trim it. Now we can come up to our Video Tools, Edit tab, and click Set end point. And we've trimmed off the end of the video. So that's pretty simple. Now I'm going to reverse those last two trims I made by pressing Control Z a couple of times. Okay, now our video is back in the initial condition it was. Remember, editing in Windows Live Movie Maker is not destructive. You're not actually cutting these things off and discarding them uh, from your computer. You're simply telling the program where to start and where to end on a clip for production purposes. Let's, uh, let's look at another way to trim. We can actually go to the Video Tools, Edit tab, and choose the Trim tool. And the Trim tool has the advantage of letting us trim the beginning and the end of a clip simultaneously. The way we'll do this is grab the Trim uh, tool head and drag it into the clip where we want to start trimming. And we'll grab the uh, the other end of it, the out point, and come to the point where we want to stop and then come up and click Save Trim to trim both of those off of our video clip. Okay, and there's the video clip we have remaining. So you have two ways to do that. Now, there's another uh, activity you may want to do. So let's come back here to where the dome is. That's the dome on our campus. And we want to split our video at this point. So on the Video Tools tab, uh, our video tools edit there is also a split tool let's go ahead and click that all right now we've split our video into two clips here's the first one here's the second one and we can come back to the beginning beginning of it and now trim this second clip uh, let's go ahead and just drag this in here to the point we want to trim off Not a very good video. Let's say we want to trim that much off. Let's go ahead and set the start point. Okay, now we have two videos uh, and we've edited the second clip. And let me just put the playhead here in the first clip so you can see how smoothly it will run from one clip to another. You see, so uh, that's how you would uh, cut a chunk out of the middle of a video clip. Now let's say that we want to take another clip and insert it between these two clips. All right, so let's go back to our Home tab, Add Videos, and grab this other one called Clock Tower. Click Open. Okay, now there's the Clock Tower, uh, and it put it at the end. Wherever your uh, vertical black playhead is, let's say it's at the beginning of the first clip, it will insert the inserted clip after that clip. So it would have put it after this one. Because it was in this clip, it put it at the end. But let's say we want this clip 
and you see how it highlights it all in blue there in front of this clip. What we'll do is just grab it, drag it, and you see that vertical line appear and drop it. Okay, clip one, clip two, and clip three. And now we can edit clip two uh, independently of clip one and three using those same uh, editing tools. If you start doing a lot of this, you're going to discover that uh, you, you'll need a faster way to do it. And that's what keyboard shortcuts are all about. So let me show you those keyboard shortcuts now. Okay, I've got a uh, keyboard on the screen before you. And uh, there are some shortcut keys in Windows Live Movie Maker that you should learn to use if you're going to be doing a lot of video editing. Uh, they make things easier than uh, using the ribbon, actually. And uh, here they are. They're centered around uh, the play, pause, toggle key. That's K. K for key. <laughs> or the space bar. One or the other will uh, toggle um, play and pause while you're viewing your video. And then if you want to trim a start point in your video, uh, you move your uh, move your insertion point to the start point you want and press the letter I. And the mnemonic for that is to remember that the word in starts with I. So your in point uh, will trim with the I key. And you can trim the out point or the in point with O. Uh, convenient that they're both together there and right above that K key. So you can learn to use the keyboard to use K to play K to pause, and then O to trim for the out point, for example. There's also, a, for very fine tuning, uh, you can move to the previous frame. That is, wherever the uh, playhead is, you can move to the previous frame. And if your video is 30 frames a second, that means you can move 1 30th of a second to the left if you use the J key. And you can move the playhead to the next frame with the L key. So you can think of those as your left and your right arrows. Uh, unfortunately, the arrow keys don't work <laughs> for this function. Go figure, except I think the Microsoft guys wanted it to be centered around that K key to make it all very convenient for working on the, on the keyboard. And there's one more of these keys, and that is the M key will allow you to split a video clip. So uh, the mnemonic for that is going to be M for middle. So if you move your uh, playhead to the middle of a clip and press the M key, it will split your clip into two. Okay, those are the shortcuts for editing uh, using your keyboard. Uh, pretty handy, I think. There's lots more to know about uh, manipulating video clips in this program, but there's not a lot more to know about editing it. The real shortcoming, once again, is that you can't view the audio track. Uh, in, there's no visual representation of the audio track, so you just have to play the video to find where someone starts speaking that you want to uh, cut out. Uh, so that's, it takes a little bit more time than it would with a very precise editing uh, program, but the program does amazingly well, and it makes it easy to get the quick edits you usually need to do to present uh, academic videos. Okay, thanks for listening.